Welcome to Galco TV. Today I will be showing you how to set up the Dark Controls 125 series of DC drives. These drives can be set up to work with shunt wound and permanent magnet motors up to 90 volts DC with a 120 volt AC input and up to 180 volts DC with a 240 volt AC input. The AC input connection should be placed on the left side of the terminals on L and N. Next I will need to make my motor connections. A shunt wound motor will need to have the armature and field connected. The third terminal here is the positive connection of the armature and will connect to the motor's armature. The fourth connection is the negative side of the armature and field. If using a permanent magnet motor, the connection will only need to be made to the negative side of the armature. On shunt wound motors, the connection needs to be made on the armature negative and the field negative. The next connection is also for shunt wound motors with a connection made to the positive field connection on the motor. My last three connections on the terminal are for the potentiometer. The sixth terminal is for the high connection on the speed pot with the white wire. It is also a 12 volt connection where an inhibit switch can be installed between this terminal and P3. This requires a single pole, single throw switch. The seventh terminal has a red wire that connects to the speed pot wiper. If using for voltage fouler applications, this input should not be greater than 12 volts or grounded. My last terminal is an orange wire that connects to the low side of the speed pot. The value of the input is raised and lowered by the min trim pot on the other side of the drive. All inputs on the potentiometer terminal connections must not be grounded to prevent damage to the control. Some additional controls include the trim pots on the other side. The minimum and maximum trim pot controls allow for adjustments to the motor speed when the speed pot is at zero or at its peak. The IR comp allows for adjustment of the circuitry that controls the speed regulation of the motor. This controls the armature speed by changing the armature voltage to compensate for increased or decreased motor load. The current limit trim pot provides protection from excessive armature current by limiting the maximum armature current the control can provide. This enables adjustment of the maximum torque the motor can deliver. The last thing to show is the inhibit pin terminal. This allows the user a choice of stopping and starting hard or stopping hard with a soft start through an adjustable acceleration ramp without breaking the AC lines. Dart Control's 125 series of DC drives along with thousands of other products and services are available at galco.com.